Hey Scorpios, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we're going to do your mid-May general energy love reading. So keep in mind these are general readings, which means they can't possibly apply to every single person watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all the information will be in the description box below. And in case you're new to the channel, welcome in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So for all of the new viewers, I am an intuitive tarot card reader, which means I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I always charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pucks. In doing so, it charges balances and aligns the energy for our reading. And I also charge both of the decks on top of your own personalized astrological card. I already see there's a bit of a glare. Hopefully, it's not going to be too bad. So again, this reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And as always, I hope everyone's doing well. Let's see if I move it back. I'm in my living room. I'm sitting literally like right next to the window. So it's a bit of a glare. Um, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, I heard the song So Into You by Tamia. Um, I'm going to leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading because I know it's going to be aligned with the messages that I pick up. What I picked up from that is literally that a great deal of you have been single for a lengthy period of time, right? And I feel like some of you guys may have recently started dating someone and it's, it's a little scary for you, you know, because, you know, you feel like you're fearful of going through the same patterns or going through the same things that you went through with an ex-partner. Now, if it's not you, I feel like the person that you just started dating is experiencing this. And if you haven't met anyone yet, you guys have, a lot of you all have some new love on your path. I know that because I've been sensing that. I picked up multiple times in your particular, in your main energy deck, um, the Ten of Cups and then a Chariot. And with the Ten of Cups, I feel like that's new love coming in. And for some of you guys, the love is already here, but it's like some of you guys may be trying to fight it. And I feel like this is a pattern for Scorpios. I feel like you guys are kind of trying to fight it. You're trying to focus on different things. But at the end of the day, I feel like you guys really have met someone that, you know, you're not going to be able to keep denying those feelings for. So there's no reversal. Look at that. <laughs> at the bottom of the deck, look at that. The Fool card taking a leap of faith. There's absolutely no reversals in either one of these decks. So if I get any reversals after, and this ties into exactly what I said. If we get any reversals, look at that. Empress poking out. I always tell you guys where there's an empress, there's an emperor, not too far behind. What's behind her? Yep. You guys left some situation that was very, you know, you left an individual who was very sneaky, manipulative, and untrustworthy. And that's why you're fighting these feelings that you have for this new individual. Okay. So like I was saying, if there's any reversals after I've done my shuffling, I'm going to read them as such because I know they're aligned with the messages that I'm meant to give you guys today. So let's get started for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individuals. So again, back to what I said. You have the fool card taking a leap of faith. Some of you guys are really scared of, you know, moving forward with love. Even if you are dating someone right now, it's just a little scary for you because you've been single for a while and you've been burned before. We know that because that seven of swords just peaked out that the clarifying deck. Okay. So we're going to hold the deck down and get additional messages. Yep. Brand new love, something very new and passionate. And, you know, I was going to say that I did feel a strong fire sign energy because the Fool card is the card of Aries. And then you have the um, Ace of Wands. That's Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm going to tell you also with this card, you know, this is a brand new passion offer. This is something that's like really has ignited a fire in you. And keep in mind the song that I heard was I'm So Into You by Tamia. And this is very much that energy. Somebody who is really like, you know, you have a big passion for this individual and when i say passion it's not just sexual it's just like this person like mentally entertains you their personality entertains you they just have a dope personality and it's something that you you're really drawn to you're really drawn to this individual and if you notice his hand is open but he had he doesn't have the person doesn't have the hand around it like they're grabbing it it's just open as if they're open to accepting it but they're, they're not holding it completely and i feel like that's where you are i feel like you're you're open to it but you're not grabbing it completely because you're a little fearful. Absolutely. Look what card popped up. As I parted the deck so I can shuffle the nine of swords. Like I said, a lot of you guys have just come out of some type of heartbreak not too long ago. One, two, three swords right across that heart chakra. Right in the direction of the heart chakra. This is the nine of swords, sleepless nights, restlessness, pain and sorrow and grief. You guys are coming out of it. There's some healing. Definitely healing for a lot of you all. Didn't want to go in. Blockages. There's some healing for a lot of you all. Look at that. Two of Wands right next to the Nine of Swords in reverse now. This Two of Wands, I'm strongly feeling like, you know, you need to make a choice about whether or not you're going to kind of teeter-totter back and forth. I don't feel like it's between two people. I feel like you're teeter-tottering back and forth between 
do I give it my all and move forward or do I just stay kind of casual with this situation with this person? Because whoever it is, if you are meeting, some, if you've already met this person and you're starting to, you know, kind of build a rapport with this individual, they want more than something casual. I can tell you that right now. And if you haven't met the person yet, when they come in, they're going to come in and let you know, like, I'm looking for something serious. I don't want something casual. Either way it goes, they don't want something casual. And I'm going to look at, you know, you have the Eight of Cups, right? This is for Scorpio, right? This is water sign. With this Eight of Cups in reverse, I feel like some of you guys are not walking away from those feelings, holding on to those feelings because water is emotions. A lot of you guys are holding on to those feelings and emotions from what happened in your past. And that's why you have this Two of Wands now it's in reverse. For Two of Wands to keep popping up, that's very clear-cut messages to us. Hmm, look at that, yeah. Now you, don't have, now you have the moon card in reverse, and then you have the eight of cups upright. I feel like, okay, the moon card upright is things unknown, things unseen, things that you don't have clarity about. And I feel like you're not sure. And it's also about the emotions. The water is about emotions. I feel like a lot of you guys don't know how to feel. At one point, you didn't know how to feel moving forward because you were just kind of, like I said, fear. And this is also fear, the subconscious, the fear, the ego, right? It's coming up in reverse, which means a lot of, like I said, a lot of you guys are healing. And it's going to allow you to walk away from these old, you know, emotions. And I know that you're walking away from emotions because, like I said, cups are emotions. His back is facing those cups. So he's walking away from those old emotions that he had in regards to a past relationship. And I know that's the case because you keep getting water and energy. Look at that. You're going back and forth with yourself. We're going to get two cards. One is going to be a general energy and the second is going to be a possible outcome. And we'll get clarifiers for both. <laughs> What did I just say? Healing. Star card upright. And you guys see there are reversals. And right up under that, you have the six of swords moving away. You got that moon in the background too. You got a lot of moon energy. So some of you guys, you know, this is the card of Scorpio, but some of you guys can have Cancer or Pisces placements in your chart. You can also be moving away from another water sign, uh, um, Cancer or Pisces. And I'm going to see like right behind this. You look at that. Three of Cups in reverse to me, and I was going to say that earlier on, I really feel like some of you guys caught a partner in some third party situation. Because with this Three of Cups in reverse, I definitely feel like that. Look at that. Absolutely. Because they were manipulative and they were liars and cheaters. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual. And I definitely feel like that because, you know, you got the swords here and then you had a six of swords here. That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And then the um, Magician is also Gemini and Virgo. So some of you guys could be dealing with Gemini and Virgo um, individuals with strong Gemini and Virgo placements. And then also the star card is Aquarius. So some of you guys can definitely be, you know, because this is the card of wish fulfillment and healing. So some of you guys could be healing from a situation regarding the Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual. Most definitely. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Sun card in reverse. So a lot of you guys, you know, the Sun card is healing. And it's the most positive card in the whole deck of tarot. Even if it's in reverse, it doesn't matter. It's It just means like right now the healing is not complete. You're still going through cycles of healing. You see how you see like these orbs cycling around? You're still going through cycles of healing. Nonetheless, the healing has started already with a star card. That's definitely a card of healing. And it came up right. And that's Major Arcana, which means this is happening currently in your current reality. And you've met somebody who... If you again, if you haven't met this person already, you're meeting somebody who's gonna make you forget all about this past heartbreak. Cause you see how she's pouring from you know out of these, she's pouring this water out of these vases. Those are emotions. She's detoxing, clarifying. I always say anytime I see cards where there's a lot of water, the saying in my head always comes up: there's healing in the water, and her body's submerged in the water. And she's dealing with these emotions. The water is always the emotion. She's dealing with these emotions that she's having. Or that she's had. And I always look at this and it looks like a compass to me. And it lets me know that you're moving in a different direction. And you're moving forward in your healing. And keep in mind, I said earlier when I was doing the shuffling in this particular deck, I seen the um, chariot card. At the bottom of your deck, you have the king of pentacles. So some of you guys can have earth sign placements in your chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or you can be getting ready to meet a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual. Or this person could also be in your reality right now. Because right either way it goes, you guys have love. It's in your atmosphere. If you have not met this person already, you're getting ready to meet them in the near future. And I know that for a fact, with your first card being a major iconic, anytime you have major iconic energy in your readings, it's like, this is effective immediately. This is happening. Major arcana happens to us. We don't happen to major arcana. This is not free will. This is things that, that are aligned with our path right now. 
because the universe knew that it was time for something new. And this is definitely somebody who's coming on your path who's, look at that, <laughs> again. And you guys are watching me shuffle. Same cards, absolutely. Now, if you look at this, again, both of these are major arcana, right? You have the sun looking right in, uh, I'm sorry, the moon looking right in the direction of the star card. And I'm going to tell you what I'm picking up from this immediately. You have some healing. A lot of you guys could definitely be dealing, even though the moon card is the card of Pisces, some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a Pisces because you have this crab coming up out of the water. What I'm feeling like for some of you guys, yeah, most definitely, while you're doing your healing work, you guys have an ex who keeps trying to come back and reconnect with you. You see how he's looking, this moon is looking in the direction of the star. You have, some of you guys have an ex, if they haven't already tried to reconnect, they're reaching out and they're trying to connect with you again. And I'm being I'm being drawn to like literally these wolves right here and how they're howling at the moon. The moon is also about your intuition. Your intuition is telling you don't do it. That's what I'm picking up from that. I'm telling you that right now. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Your clarifying deck is the Four of Cups. Don't do it. This person is coming back again. I feel strongly like you're dealing with someone who has some fire. I mean, some um, water sign placements in their chart. Because again, this is Pisces, and I also pick up Cancer from this. And again, this is a Cups card. This person is going to come back once they they're picking up the fact that this because you could be dealing with someone who might be very intuitive, too. Or you got. Yeah, you guys could be so very connected because you see how right here at her third eye is glowing. Her third eye chakra is glowing. This person could be very intuitive, too. Or they're so in tune to you because you guys have been in each other's energy. You guys have been around each other for so long. That they can kind of sense when you're moving on and when you're distancing yourself. And they can sense it. And now that they can sense it, now they want to bring their ass back in now trying to give you an offer. Let's see what's poking up right here. And I knew what it was. Yep. What did I say? Somebody bringing an offer. Somebody trying to give you an offer. And looking at them, trying to rush back in because they can sense that you're moving on. You see how that was poking up? There's no other cards poking up. This one was poking up because this was an underlying message. It was meant for us to talk about this. Yep. So a lot of you guys have an ex trying to come in now that they sense that you're moving on. Absolutely. Temperance, again, healing in the water, that one foot in the water. But in the background, you see how that sun is coming up? There's something. And remember, we just seen the sun card in reverse. But the sun is coming up. But I feel like, you know, it's a wow because it's behind him. So the healing is, is, is coming. It's on the horizon. And that's why that sun card was in reverse. We got something peeking out. What is this? <laughs> fool card. Now, keep in mind, at first, the fool card was in reverse. And we got the fool card again. It's like you're being, you need to be patient with yourself in this healing process. And with this watery energy popping up again, even though this is the card of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, um, you know, we're, I have to be, pay attention to this water. And look at it, he's pouring the water from one cup to another. And even though this is a fire sign card, I'm telling you, a lot of you guys have just separated or are healing from someone who had water in their chart also. Because you see how he has one foot in the water and one foot on land? It's like you're almost over this person, almost. You're getting rid of these toxic emotions. Because I feel like there's toxic emotions attached to this person. And you need to be patient with yourself. I feel like a lot of you all may be feeling frustrated. Absolutely. And then, then we just have the king. King of Pentacles, I think we just seen. And now you see the Queen of Pentacles. That's a pair. Yeah, we seen the King of Pentacles and the other deck. And now you see the Queen of Pentacles. That is a pair. And I just seen the Ace of Wands again. Look at that. A lot of y'all need to have strength to move away from a situation or you're going to miss this new opportunity. Because I feel like this King and Queen that we see of this wand, of this Pentacles, this is a new person coming in. So a lot of you guys can have a person coming in who... Um, Definitely Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I feel like, yep. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're walking away from a, someone with strong water sign placements and you have a, a earth sign coming in. Because now you have a strength card in reverse. Again, that's Major Arcana. And then you have, yeah, and some of you guys could also have been dealing with a Leo also. Or you can have Leo placements because you have this lion head right here and then you have the strength card. That's the card of Leo. So you could have been dealing with a, someone with Leo and water placements. You would know how that applies to your situation. But either way it goes, you're needing to have the strength to move away from this person. Again, this is cups. And I told you before, you got a lot of watery energies. So you need to have the strength to walk away from this person with those strong water sign placements. Or else you're going to block the new love with the earth sign. individual. Because there's somebody new coming in for you guys. You guys are definitely going to walk away from this individual. But it's going to take a little while. And let's get... And I think this is just so amazing how both of these are major arcana and they're both coming up right. This is your current energy field. This is how I know that some of you guys are still needing to heal. But you definitely got a um, someone with very strong water sign. Cancer and Pisces specifically. 
trying to tiptoe their way back into your life once they realize that you're healing. They can sense that you're moving on. They can sense it and hear their ass come trying to bother you again. Look at that. The bottom of the deck again. Moon card. This person is going to creep up on you. The moon, like I said, is things unseen, things unknown, things that you don't have clarity about. I feel like this person is going to, you're not expecting them to come rolling up on you like that. This person is about to show up and possibly show out, literally, at the fact that you're moving away from them. I feel like this person is going to be very emotional. I'm even, I'm even seeing like tears, like someone is going to be crying and trying to resolve things. Mm-mm. So let's get a clarifier for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals for the star card. Okay, absolutely, absolutely. You guys seen the flip out? Star card, wish fulfillment, healing. A lot of you guys are healing from feeling left out in the cold and abandoned by someone. You know, this because look at it, the star card is looking right in the direction of the Five of Pentacles. You feel like this person abandoned you. This person could have taken money from you. This person could have hidden money from you. This person could have also put you out of their home or you could have had to put this individual out of your home. Either way it goes, it has something to do with your foundation with this being a pinnacle card and you're healing from it because it was. I feel like it was very traumatizing for you. Absolutely, at the bottom of the deck, you got the Wheel of Fortune upright and there are currently reversals. And again, this is Major Arcana. You're moving forward. A lot of you guys are moving forward, but I'm going to tell you, you see how I told you with this moon card, I feel like somebody's going to come back. This wheel upright is moving forward into something new, but you have this little being going the other way in the opposite direction of the, the moon. And you see how he looks like a little devil. I feel like I'm telling you, I feel like this person who's trying to come back is going to be like on their intentions aren't good. They just don't want you to move on because they don't want you to not be accessible to them. That's what I'm picking up. So you have the moon card and clarifying it is the seven of wands. I'm going to tell you the seven of wands upright is somebody who continuously is fighting for something. Continuously, they feel like they don't want to give up on something. They're going to keep fighting for it. It came up in reverse. Like I said, I feel like a lot of you guys are giving up on this relationship with this ex-individual. You're no longer fighting this battle anymore. You've decided, you've made a choice, and you're moving on and you're moving forward. I don't feel like this person is going to be happy. But nonetheless, this, this is major and this is meant to happen. Because both of these are major arcana. Both both of your main cards are major arcana. And do you see how the energies look the same? The colors and everything. Like literally everything in the card, damn, it looks the same. Even you got this little globe thing here. And then you got the little globe compass here. And then you have both of you have entities and beings coming out of water. This is literally almost the same energy, which lets us know that this is current and this is happening now. And it's meant to be on your path because somebody left you feeling abandoned. Somebody left you feeling, you know, heartbroken because look at her. She's walking away with her head down. And, oh, and it ties in exactly what I said. Didn't I say with this moon card? This person is coming back. You see how this person, even after they put you through so much, look how tore down and raggedy her clothes are. He's chasing up behind her after he's done her so wrong. And I feel like, like I said, I feel like this person isn't trustworthy because look at him. He has crutches, but yet he's running. How are you running if you need crutches? It's something about this person. And remember, we've seen a seven of swords also. Something about this person was just sneaky, manipulative, untrustworthy. This person isn't somebody that you want to go back to. And that's why the universe is assisting you with healing. And I feel like it's going to be, it's going to be a little quicker than you expected. Because right now, it may feel like you're wondering, when are you ever going to get over this person? And I know that because we've seen a temperance card. And I was being told to tell you guys, like, you need to be patient with yourself. Because a lot of you guys are beating up on yourself. Like, why is it taking me forever to get over this person? And I feel like strongly because this person is pulling on your energy. Like this person can sense that you're moving on and they're, they're thinking about you a lot. They're dreaming about you a lot because the moon is also about those dream states. And you're feeling their energy. And that's why you think about them a lot. I feel like for a lot of you guys, again, with this, you see how the star card, her third eye chakra is glowing. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you were very psychically and spiritually in tune with this individual. So that's what's making it a little harder for you to move away from them. But at the end of the day... You guys are giving up the fight for this relationship or for this situation or any thought of reconciliation. You're giving up the fight because they've already done enough. And you see, like, you know, he's running behind her because either way it goes, she's walking away. She's not turning back looking at him. She's walking away. And I said earlier, look at his face. I feel like this individual isn't going to be happy because they're upset that they don't have the access to you that they used to. You might have been dating someone where there was like an on and off again, break up, make up, break up, make up. And this, you know, this person was used to that. And now that you're giving up on that, they, they, I don't feel like they're going to know how to deal with it. Yeah, they're not going to know how to deal with that. 
Okay, so Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.